If we have a system of equations, uh, the solution of that system is a what? A point. A point. What does a point have? An x and y value. It has an x value and it has a y value. So, without using a graph today, we're going to find the solution, the x and the y value, to this system by plugging one of the equations into the other equation and solving for one of the variables. That sounds confusing, but it's really not. Once we have that first variable, whether it's x or it's y, we're going to plug that x or that y into one of the equations to solve for the second variable, either x or y. Again, I know that sounds convoluted, but it's really not. Let's take a look at this system right here. We've got equation A, 3x minus y equals negative 7. What form is this equation written in again? Standard, beautiful, and then y is equal to 4x plus 11 is written in slope intercept. Good. Now, one of these equations needs to get plugged into the other. Okay, take 30 seconds and talk with your group as to what you think we should do with these two equations. Go ahead. Brainstorm. What are your ideas? What should we do? I said we're going to do it without gravity. All right, let's come together. What are your ideas? Anyone have a great, grand idea for us to do, uh, for us to figure this out? Nobody? Gurpreet, what do you got? Turn them both into slope intercept. I love that thought. That's a great thought. Any other ideas we had? Alex, you guys were talking together. What did you think, Alex? Okay, I see the thought process. Liana? Um, turn them both into standard form and then like try and solve and then see if they're like, um, like little points that you get are like matching or whatever. Good, I like that. That's going to be tomorrow's lesson. So you're one step ahead. Let's read this. It says, it says you can find the solution by plugging one equation into the other. What does that mean? Plugging one equation into the other. Combine them. It's some type of combining, Colby. Do you have an idea? No? Alex? Combine like terms. Are there any like terms in this one? No, we got an x, a y, and a constant. Here we got a y, an x, and a constant. Is one of these equations solved for a variable already? Yeah, which one, a or b? B. What, what variable is b solved for? B is solved for Y. Remember, in a system, the equations work together. So these X's are the same X's and these Y's are the same Y's. Well, if equation B says that Y is equal to this whole mess, let's just plug that expression in for the Y in equation A. Here's what that looks like. I know that sounds confusing, but it's not. Take a look. You guys with me? 3x minus y equals negative 7. Okay, 3x minus, well, if y is 4x plus 11, that's what equation B says. y equals 4x plus 11. Let's plug that in for y. 4x plus 11 equals negative 7. Take a look at that and digest that in your brains for a second. All we did was we plugged equation B into equation A for Y, because my Y is already solved. 
Now, I forget who it was. I think it was either Alex or Gurpreet. You said to combine like terms, right? Well, now I do have like terms to combine. What can I combine here in this new equation? 3x minus 4x. If we combine like terms, what is 3x minus 4x? Negative 1x or negative x, yeah. Is everybody with me so far? Okay. What can I do now? Colby? Combine the constants. Combine the constants. How can I get this 11 to jump over to the other side? By subtracting it. By subtracting it. Leaving me with negative 1x equals, what's negative 7 minus 11? Negative 18. Negative 18. Am I done? No. No? How can I get x all by itself now? Divide by negative 1. And I get x is equal to 18. If we had graphed these two equations, we'd need a pretty big graph if my x coordinate for my solution is 18, wouldn't you say? Are we done? Is this my solution? No. Why not? I solved it. I got x. It's not a point. What else does my point need? A y. We have an x. We need the y. Any ideas on what we can do now with that 18? Plug it into the second equation. Good. Why did you pick the second equation, Colby? Because we used the first equation already. Because you used the first equation already? Good. What is it about this second equation that makes me feel like finding y is going to be easier? Because it's already in slope-intercept form. It's already in slope-intercept form, which means that y is already solved. solved for by itself. So if I know x and I want to find y, it doesn't matter what equation I use. They work together. They're, they're both going to give me the same answer. What's going to be easiest for me when I'm doing my homework today? Well, if this one already tells me what y is, we could say that y is equal to 4 times 18 plus 11. Did I do something wrong with this? What well, we did looks right, right? Yeah. We're, oh, right here? 3x minus 4x right there. That's the, so this orange expression right here? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We took the second equation, this 4x plus 11, and we threw it in there for that one. Okay, I think we did make a mistake. Okay, so this is my bad. I apologize. When we plug 4x plus 11 in here, does anyone see what I forgot to do? Say what? Right here? Well, we did subtract 11, but this is supposed to be negative 11. Why is it supposed to be negative 11? Because the y yeah. is negative. Yeah. Yeah, because the y is negative. So I should have distributed that over here. My bad. Everybody makes mistakes. So if that's negative 11 and I add 11, that's going to give me 4. And when I divide by negative 1, I get negative 4. Oops. Do you forgive me? It's okay if you don't. I was going to give you all candy anyway, but now I don't want to. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's fine. Okay, so 18. It shouldn't be 18. I was about to say it's a pretty ridiculous number. It should be negative 4. My bad. That's right. Okay. 
Are we are we back on track now? We see how Mr. Church messed up really badly. Okay. Okay. What's four minus negative four? Negative sixteen. And now what's negative sixteen plus eleven? Negative five. Okay, so if my x is negative 4 and my y is negative 5, what's my solution going to be? Negative 4, comma, negative 5. I promise you it's easier than uh, I made it seem with that. And you know what? If I had put parentheses around this expression when I plugged it in, we probably would have remembered to distribute, which is why it's really important to make sure you're putting your parentheses there because you'll make a mistake. Let's do another example where we don't make a mistake. Yay. Five X minus three Y. equals negative 25 and x plus 4y equals 18. First example, we saw that my second equation was already solved for y. Do I have an equation here that's already solved for a variable? No. 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 <laughs> but which of those four variables looks like it might be the easiest to solve for? B. Uh, B. Equation B. Which variable in equation B? X. X. Why does it look easy to solve for that X? Because it's already by itself. We just need to move that 4y away. So let's do that. Let's turn this into x equals negative 4y equals 18. Sorry. And we're off to a great start. Plus 18. It's the Halloween spirit throwing me off. Do you see how we got this? We just subtracted 4y from both sides, right? Okay. And then I put the y in front. Okay, now that I know that x is equal to this, I'm going to put it in some nice brackets. Now that we know that x is equal to that, I'm going to plug it in for this x right here. Okay, here's what that looks like. Five times parentheses, negative four y plus 18. What's happening right now? Minus three y equals negative 25. Everybody see what we did there? Yeah. It looks really messy, but it's simple. We just took this expression that's equal to x and plugged it in for x. Now, I'm going to make sure I distribute. What's 5 times negative 4y? What's 5 times 18? 90. Good, 90. Minus 3y equals negative 25. What can I do now? Uh, add uh, the y variables together. Okay. Leona, what's negative 20y minus 3y? Negative 23y. Good. Minus 3y plus 18. Negative 20 plus 18. Negative 
this doesn't work out, I'm quitting. What do we do now? Minus 90. Okay. Negative 115. Golly. How'd I get what? Right here? Because we, so, let's, let's, we distributed and got negative 20 and then combined it with the negative 3 that was already there. This is going to work out nicely. How many times does 23 go into 115? Five times, even. So if I divide by negative 23, I'm left with y equals 5. Okay, now that I know that y is equal to 5, what can I do with it? we got to plug it back in. Which equation are we going to plug it into? Equation B. Could we also plug it into equation A? Yeah, it doesn't matter which equation we plug it into. And actually, we can make our lives one step easier by plugging it into our little modified equation B because we already solved for x. x is equal to negative 4, okay. Anthony, you with me, times 5, plus 18. A lot of arrows, a lot of stuff going on. Is this making any sense? Yeah. OK. Yeah. What's negative 4 times 5? What's negative 20 plus 18? Five. Negative 2. So if x is negative 2, y is 5, what is my solution? Negative 2, comma 5. So we got negative 2, 5 because we got negative 2 over there. Yep. We got positive 5 over there. Yep. My solution needs an x and a y. Oh. So you solve, you get your x from slope, and then you get your y from... We didn't get our x from, there's nothing to do with slope. We got our x from plugging in the y. So we... Let's do one more. Actually, yeah, let's do it on our own first. Great idea, Christian. Okay, here's your system. Let's see if my incoherent ramblings made any sense. Give this a try. You guys giving this a try? We're talking about PE. 
Give it a try. Take a look. I see a lot of us in the right spot. Some of us are. 
Uh, a lot of us are in the right spot. Some of us are really, really close to getting there. So let's take a look. Y is already solved for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug it in right there. Okay. So everything around it's going to stay the same. 4x plus 2 times something y equals negative 8. But now I know that my y is just negative 2x minus 4. Negative 2x minus 4. Everybody with me so far? Did you do that? Good. No? Okay, well now you did. What am I going to do with this 2? We're going to distribute it. So I've got a 4x in front plus, what's 2 times negative 2x? Negative 4x. What's 2 times negative 4? Minus 8 equals minus 8. What am I going to do now? Combine like terms. Gurpree, what is 4x minus 4x? Zero. So I'm left with negative 8 equals negative 8. Is my solution negative 8 comma negative 8? No. no. Abigail, what's my solution? Infinitely many solutions. Give me a thumbs up if you figured that out on your own. Good. A couple of us. That's great. If you remember back. That's right. If I got something like. Stay with me here. If I got something like 4x minus 4x minus 8 equals 2, and those canceled out, and I had negative 8 equals 2, does negative 8 equal 2? No. No. So what would my answer be in that case? No solution. No solution. I'm pretty sure we have notes on this. We sure do. Look at that. It was only two months ago. That was 60, 61 days So take a look. Back on August 27th, when we were solving equations and we ended up with number equals itself, that was many solutions. When we ended up with number equals a different number, that was no solution. We have a very nice little uh, summary of that here. Everybody flip to August 27th. Do you have these notes or am I, am I tripping out? It was up there, yeah. It was our one, two, three, four. It was our fifth notes. Time flies when you're learning. No. All right. Any questions about that one? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Okay, go ahead and sign on to your Chromebooks for me.